we've seen how the professionals make ice cream, you've seen us make ice cream in the garden with the kids, and Dr. Liz is now gonna show me how they make ice cream at the Young Scientist Center. I have a feeling it's a little bit different from our bowl of ice. It is a little yeah. bit different. <laughs> We're gonna use something called liquid nitrogen. So you know when we breathe in air, yep. most of it's made out of something called nitrogen, right. and it's a gas. We've got some nitrogen that's been cooled down into a liquid and it's minus 196 degrees Celsius. That sounds very, very cold, but just how, what, what is that a comparison to? How cold is that? So you know how cold your freezer is? That's really cold. Yeah, that's about minus 20. So it's nearly 10 times colder than your freezer. Wow, okay. Very cold. Okay, okay. so um, that's what the gloves are for. That's what the gloves are for and that's what these are for. Oh, okay. okay, so we're gonna goggle up. Okay. Looking good. Lovely. So first, obviously this is ice cream, so it's cream. We're going to put in the cream. The cream. Now, time for the liquid nitrogen. Right. So if I pour, can you whisk? Yes. Yeah? I think that's a good job for me to do. <laughs> <laughs> so right. there's our so double this cream is our in there. There's a double cream. Right. This is our liquid nitrogen. Oh, God. <laughs> this is like a thermos that's keeping it cold. It's just a very, very... Oh, wow. Big thermos. So can you see the liquid nitrogen is on this lid and it's turning into gas as soon as it hits yeah. the, uh, the it air. Yeah, that's really cool. Okay. Right, are we ready? Yeah. So I just whisk it up, right? Yeah. Okay. So I'm going to pour a little bit in. Okay. Oh, I can hear it. Oh, it sounds so sciencey. So if you whisk. Oh my gosh. <laughs> oh my gosh, that's so cool. I can feel it, I can actually feel. So can you see it bubbling away? I can actually, it's turning to ice in front of my eyes. <laughs> it's actually turning, you can see it sticking there. Should we add a little bit I more liquid nitrogen? Make it a little, bit, more, it a little bit cold. It's already sticking there, oh my God. Okay. So if you start whisking oh, for two seconds. Yeah, no, it's all right. I don't want you to get. flick it everywhere, I'm getting too excited. Okay, let's try okay. again. Try again, oh my gosh. And you can see, as wow. it gets to room temperature, it's instantly <gasps> turning into a gas. That, that, that is... Ice cream. So Should we much try? So. It's stuck. Should we try one last little bit of liquid nitrogen? Get it really cold. Okay. Okay. Oh, ready? It's like a workout. <laughs> yeah. God. Okay. So if you just flatten the bowl down for me a little bit, please. Oh, I can feel it now. It's really thick. Really, really thick ice cream. Look at that! Oh my gosh! Oh, that's amazing. <laughs> it, it's, it's so thick that I can't even get it out the whisk now. And that is how they make ice cream at the Young Scientist Centre. We would one. say, if you happen to have some liquid nitrogen lying around at home, yeah. don't try this. No, don't try it at <laughs> home. You need a professional. <laughs> Mmm, mmm. Mm. That is seriously good ice cream. Although, we will have to tell you that we didn't eat the ice cream that we made. We did go to the shop and get some. And why did we do that, Dr. Liz? Well, we made this ice cream with liquid nitrogen and if it hasn't all evaporated, it's still gonna be really, really cold. And we don't want something that cold in our tummies. No, that doesn't sound very nice at no. all. But this ice cream from the shop is very super yummy. <laughs> um, it's delicious. Thanks, Dr. Liz. Mm, cheers. Mm -hmm. Mm-hmm. <laughs>